Alright, so in this Android Studio tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create a recycler view. And in this recycler view I'll also show you how to handle click events, such as, uh, I mean, you click on an item, it will tell you which item you click on, and you can insert any kind of event you want. And uh, it's going to be very simple, I just got it out of the Development Essentials book, the Kotlin edition book that I've been talking about on my channel. But to uh, get started, let's go to our layouts file and create a new resource file and name it item underscore layout. And then we're just going to click on OK. And in here, I'm just going to show you the basics of what I went through to create it. The first thing I did is go to the design mode and check in our palettes for a uh, recycler view. This is an easy way to add the dependencies. You just click on the download arrow and it will add the dependencies automatically for you. And you're going to do this for the recycler view and for the card view. If you can't find them, there's a small search icon up at the top, which I completely forgot about. You can just type in card view or recycler view there. Then I'm just going to copy and paste my earlier layout for the uh, card view with the items inside. This is going to be where you insert your image, your title and your text view. But essentially what I did, I added a card view, I made it clickable, I made it focusable. And here you can see a foreground where it's a selectable item background. This gives it a very nice button effect when you click on it. And with that being said, I also added a relative layout to insert the image view and the text views. Just to keep things simple, I love relative layouts. And I gave it an ID, the image view, an ID of IV underscore image. I added a source of a MIP map IC launch around. We all have that, so that's easy to add. Then on, uh, I added two text views and a linear layout. One's called uh, TV underscore title, another one's called TV underscore description, just to keep things very simple, very easy to remember. After that, we're gonna go to our main activity file and inside here, we're gonna add a recycler view. And this is gonna display all of our items that uh, we want to insert. So essentially I just copy and pasted another template that I had, which is a relative layout with a recycler view widget inside. I gave it an ID of RV underscore recycler view. It's just a naming convention I go through for myself and uh, use these tools so you can actually display how it will look like on your design uh, preview mode. So, uh, and also here's a quick tip. If you go to the design mode and right click on your recycler view, you can also set sample data. And I figured this out by reading it in the book. So it was a very neat little trick you can use in the future if you're creating lots of recycler views and you wanna see how they turn out without creating an entire layout view. But after that, we're gonna go and create a recycler view adapter. And to do this, we're gonna create a new Kotlin class. We're gonna name it recycler adapter. And here's where the coding bit begins. And next we're gonna to want to add uh, three variables to our constructor. One's gonna be called titles and it's gonna be a list of string. And then we're gonna write private var details, which is gonna be a list of string again. And we're gonna do private var images, which is gonna be a list of type int. And I forgot to add that angle bracket at the end, but we'll fix that later, or you can fix it now. And right after that, we're gonna write recycler view, import it, and we're gonna do dot adapter. It's gonna be of type recycler adapter dot view holder. And then inside there, we're gonna type inner class view holder, and it's gonna take item view as a parameter, and that's gonna be of type view. And right after that, we're going to extend recycler view dot view holder, and it's gonna take item view as a parameter as well. And then we can import the three methods just by right clicking on recycler adapter. And there we fix the angle bracket that I forgot earlier. And immediately after that, we can go to our inner class again, and we are gonna add three variables. One's gonna be item title, it's gonna be of type text view. Be sure to import that. It's gonna be item view dot find view by ID, or ID dot TV title. And this is all in our XML file. You're gonna do the same thing for item details, which is gonna take our text view underscore description. And finally, for the image that we want to display, which I called item picture, it's gonna be of type Im image view, and it's gonna be item view dot find view by ID, R dot ID image view underscore image. And then we're gonna add an initializer which is gonna say uh, item view dot sit on click listener. And this is going to handle our on click events. It's gonna get the position and you can do that by doing val position of type int is uh, adapter position. And we're gonna create a toast which will take that position and display that position. In reality, you can just use this position to open new windows and whatever you like. You can put whatever you want in there. And finally, we're gonna to go to our three uh, methods that we have not implemented yet. One is gonna be called uh, onCreateViewHolder and it's gonna take a value of V and we're gonna do layoutinflator.fromParents.context and we're gonna inflate it to our item layout and this will take our item layout and put it where we want it. And finally, we're gonna do attach root to false and we're gonna return the view holder, which is a V. 
and then on get item counter is going to do return titles dot size and finally for the final one on bind view holder we're going to do holder dot item title dot text is equal to the title at the position and we're going to do the same thing for our description and for the image All right so holder dot item picture dot set image resource so we're going to do image at position and I believe that's actually all you need for your uh, recycle adapter. Next, we're going to go to our main activity file and we are going to add three private variables at the top. One's going to be a titles list, which is going to be a, a mutable list type of string. We're going to copy and paste that three times and we're going to change the last one to type int. And we're going to rename them to description list and images list. And these are going to be the list that we're going to use for our recycle view adapter. And you just insert them and you'll see later. We're going to type in the uh, RV underscore recycler view, which is our recycler view from the layout, dot layout manager, and set it to a linear layout manager with this. And we're going to do that again, but we're going to type a dot adapter and set the recycler adapter with the three parameters that we just created, which are three different lists that can be changed. And we're going to create two different uh, functions. One's going to be to add to the list, which is going to take a title of type string, a description of type string, and an image of type int. And we're going to just insert these three uh, lines of code. One's going to be titles.list.addTitle, descriptionList.addDescription, and imagelist.addImage. And this is just going to be to simplify things later. And finally, we're going to write a, another, fu another function called private function post a list, which is going to make a very simple for loop, which is just going to create a lot of sample items. And it's going to do add to list, title, add position of i, plus... Uh, and not plus, but then description at position of I. And finally, we're just gonna use the same image resource over and over, but you can use whatever image resource you like. It takes it as an int, and it will be displayed on the recycler view. And then be sure to add post to list as a method in your onCreate method, because I absolutely forgot that the first time, and it's just a pain to forget these things because it doesn't show up on the screen. But uh, at the end of the tutorial, you should have a similar looking Recycler view and you should be able to edit it in any way you like. I just added the most basic parameters But uh, of course if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them Otherwise, uh, I'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching